Okay, question 11. Uh, I think there's a typo mistake in the uh, question. Uh, the force they are calculating is not at the handle because they give, didn't give you any uh, distance on this lever. So what they are asking for is actually the, the uh, downward pushing force at this piston here. Okay, so this is very straightforward uh, hydraulic jack. So what you need to know is that the pressure in the fluid, uh, whether or not it is at piston Q or piston P, the pressure in the fluid is the same. So with that understanding, uh, calculate the pressure at Q first. So they already given you all the parameter, the force acting on it and the uh, diameter. So with the diameter, you can calculate the area and uh, with the force and the area, you can get the pressure. So once you know the pressure at uh, Q, uh, you would know the pressure at P. So once you know that, uh, just do the same thing. You already know the uh, diameter, which will give you the area. Do the uh, algebra, you will get uh, FP, F force at P equals to 22 Newton. Okay. Okay, for your question 12, temperature of the gas. So this one, uh, if you study the textbook, it should be a, it should be quite simple for you. So uh, you know that the volume is fixed, so there will be no change in the volume. Uh, so you are only playing with temperature and pressure. So average speed because the temperature is lower, and so there will be less Ke on the in the uh, molecule. So definitely going slower. Uh, then we look at number three first. Okay. Uh, because the gas is going slower, then of course the uh, collision force would be less. So 1 and 3 is definitely correct. Uh, if you look at number 2, the number of collision on the wall per unit time remain constant. Now because the uh, molecules are moving slower, the frequency of collision will actually decrease. It will not remain constant. So that's why 2 is wrong. Okay, question 13. Hmm. Uh, manometer, you are asked to calculate the pressure in the gas container. So, concept behind this question is that the water level, so you, you can actually draw any line here. Okay, any convenient line, it will work. So, if you choose a line here, it means that the pressure at this point and the pressure at this point uh, must be the same. Okay, so you are actually asked to find the pressure difference between the gas in the container and the atmosphere. So basically this gas container is supplying a pressure to support this column. So what you need to do is pretty simple. You know the height here, you know the height here, meaning that you can find the height of this column. So once you know the height of this column, use your P equals to rho GH, you will get the pressure uh, resulted from this column of liquid. And you can get the pressure for this gas container. I should use ruler. Okay, question 14. Question 14, uh, the concept tested is that for liquid pressure, it is independent of the base area. The liquid pressure is only dependent on the height of the liquid column. So if you look at this, you can see that the pressure at uh, the left side must be greater than the pressure on the right side because the height here is larger. So that's why you can uh, identify this P1 larger than P2 is definitely correct. Uh, then you need to look at the reasoning and the reasoning has to do with the uh, height and not the uh, area here, okay? Uh, if you want to know why uh, is liquid column only dependent on the height, please read your textbook. The whole, the full working is there, okay? To explain to you why area is uh, not, uh, not a consideration in liquid pressure. 
Okay, uh, question 15. Question 15 actually tests you on your ability to read your graph. Uh, for those who are uh, less mathematic inclined, what I suggest you, what I, I would like to suggest you is that uh, form a table like this. So how do you form this table? So because you are looking at the relationship between PV and P. So you need to so that means you need to uh, be able to tell how does P V and P V are changing. Okay? So I form here P V and P V. So these two parameter is the one that is going to be on your axis. And then I just choose a value here, any value. So this is my this is some values that I decided. To start with, so I just put one one. So p times v one times one will give you one. Then I ask myself, okay, what if my pressure change to two? How will my volume uh, react? So if I increase the pressure to two, then that means my volume must be reduced because pressure and volume are inversely proportional. So I just put this this down. Then I tell myself, okay, so what will my PV be? So I take 2 multiplied by 0 0.5, I take 1. Then I try another value. Okay, now what if my pressure is 5? So change from 1 to 5. So this is an increase of pressure, right? So 1 to 5, the factor that I multiply is 5. So because volume is inversely proportional to pressure, when I change my pressure from 1 to 5, then my volume will be 1 times 5 on pressure, right? So my volume will be 1 divided by 5 because it's inversely proportional. So with these two, what is my PV? Again, it is 1. So I realize that no matter how I change the pressure, PV would remain constant. So with that understanding, I know that, okay, when my P is changing, my PV will have a constant value. And that is how you deduce that graph A is... Uh, your correct answer. Now for those who are good with your mathematics, actually PV, uh, if you know that uh, P is inversely proportional to volume, this is your mathematics, right? So if you write out the equation, this will be P equals to K multiplied by 1 over V. So if you rearrange the thing, you will get PV is equals to K you bring the denominator here over here. So PV equals to K means that PV will always be equals to a singular, a, a constant. So once you know that, you know that, oh, no matter how I change my P, my PV is equals to one value. And so you know that your answer is A. Okay, this is for those who are better in mathematics. Now the question about, I have another question just for you. How about P equals to zero? Okay, so think about it and uh, come to me <laughs> uh, during your recess and we can discuss this. Okay, 